as you know, I enjoy working with copper because there's so many great things you can do with a piece of copper. Now I've been putting together a list of the different finishes and the textures that I use in my work. So I'm going to do a series. Some will be on finishing, some will be on texturing. And once I get this done and you look through them, you'll be coming up with ideas for your own texturing, your own finishing. Now this first video is pretty much top coat stuff. Wire brushing, sanding, grinding. And the whole idea behind this is so that you and I can enhance either our sculpture or our jewelry. As you can see, I've cut out a number of two inch square copper blanks. Now these are 16 ounce copper or about 25 gauge. Here's a close up so that you can see what the copper looks like before I do any wire brushing, sanding or grinding. Now this is what I call my wire brush on a motor. Now this was a used motor 35 years ago, $5 arbor, and a brush is about $8. In grading wire brushes, such as fine, medium, or coarse, this would be considered a medium wire brush. This is what I use for most of my cleanup work. Be sure to wear safety glasses or a full face shield. Sometimes the wires in the wire brush will come out and they can hit you right in the face. Now this could happen with a brand new brush or one that you've used for six months. So just be cautious. Now this is the finish that I get from the medium wire brush. A smooth, soft finish. And this is the finish that I often use when I want to do flame coloring. This wire brush is referred to as a cable twist wire wheel. And you can see how it's kind of twisted like a rope. Now this brush will really dig into the metal. Now if you're not careful, this will dig right into your hands. So you may want to wear a pair of heavy leather work gloves. Another reason for using a pair of heavy work gloves is the fact that here I am pushing the copper into the wheel. I'm using a lot of pressure. And that copper is going to get hot. And so this is the result of the cable twist wire wheel. You can see that it actually went into the metal as opposed to just brushing the surface. For sanding, you have your choice from very, very fine to very, very coarse. The sanding disc that I'm going to be using here is what I would call probably a medium disc. I particularly like this swirl effect that I can get using the sanding disc on copper. You can see how well it reflects light. There's just no comparison between the piece like this that we started with and this piece. I mean this is really striking against that black background. Now this is a four inch grinder with a four inch grinding wheel. Now this will really dig into the metal. As an added safety precaution here, I'm wearing a heavy leather glove on my left hand. I'm using hearing protection and of course, safety glasses. Using a grinding disc on the copper gives a completely different finish compared to sanding or the wire brushing. As you can see here, there is so much heat that the copper is beginning to color. And for the result, 
very much like a wood grain. Well, not exactly like a wood grain, but you can see how it does have a grain to it. Now, for those of you that have a rotary hand tool, such as a Dremel or a Fordham, you can go way beyond what I've shown in this video. This is a small kit that I picked up on Amazon. This set is very complete. I was amazed when I opened it. It had good reviews, but this goes way beyond what I expected. Still can't believe the price. $15. But it's got the stones, the drills, the buffers, the sanding tubes. About anything that you could want is in there. Now how high quality it is, I don't really know. Time will tell. Here I'm using one of the small wire brushes. And this is what I got from that wire brush. Nice soft finish. Here I'm using one of the sanding tubes. And the finished results from the sanding tube. The kit comes with a variety of stones. And I just picked this one at random. So I wanted something that would kind of dig into the metal a bit more than the sanding. So we'll see what happens. Actually, I've never had a finish like that. Interesting. I can see some uses for this finish. Just using the small wire brush, the sanding tube, and the grinding stone, you can see how one could quickly put together a repertoire of finishes.